Hi and welcome to another episode, episode 11 of Michelle Mark Knitwear. And today I'm going to talk about my latest projects which include Fair Isle. Also today is a very special day as it's my wedding anniversary. Yes, so today I'm wearing my pretty little bow jumper which is the nearest thing I have with the matching hat to celebrating Valentine's. So this is my special Valentine's jumper, which I'm wearing with some nice glitzy things. As usually, if we were able to go out and, and hotels and entertainment venues were open, then we would be spending a day in London normally. But luckily last year, we managed to celebrate. I can't remember what we did. In fact, I think we went to um, a nice little village um, in Suffolk last last um, anniversary and that we were fortunate but it falls in February so it was before everyone was locked down so yes so today I've done lots of things um, it's gone really quick actually um, I made a cake which was a nice pear and almond cake um, it's, it's all lined up with a nice cup of tea and I'm a bit of a slow drinker, as my husband would tell you. So this is from our brunch. So we had a nice eggs benedict for brunch. So on that note, I'm going to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there who likes to celebrate Valentine's. And that drink will probably last me a few more hours yet. Anyway, so on that note... Um, so I'll talk a bit about my little bow sweater. Um, I haven't actually got the original pattern. Um, this is a pattern I got, um, excuse the notes, but I think I bought the, a copy of it because I think it comes from a stitch craft book. And um, I don't know if I've got one. I, I know I collect stitch craft, but I can't remember if I've got the actual edition of this one. So I just bought it. Um, I knitted quite a few of these. I did sell a couple quite a few years ago, but I kept this one because I just like it. And obviously, I like my hats to match the sweaters. It just gives you a bit more of an outfit. And I think the maroon and the dark pink goes really well. As you can imagine, blues and pinks are my favourite colours. So it's, yeah, it comes out mostly every uh, Valentine's this sweater. I did wear it actually to um, Claridge's, like we do like going for afternoon tea. So a few years ago I did actually wear it at Claridge's. But there you go. Um, it's always freezing cold on our anniversary but I remember when we got married it was a beautiful bright sunny but freezing cold day. But it was it was bright and it wasn't raining, so we had a lovely day. So on that note, um, I will tell you what I've been up to. So as I mentioned, I'm knitting another version of this, Feral, and it's this pattern here. There you go. So this is the best way pattern. Um, my husband's sister had the original at the time but she kindly let me photocopy it um, so what I've done is I've made notes and took a swatch of all the strands of colours now there's a lot of complication and a lot of you know with Feral if you're following an old pattern um, a lot of the times they don't give you graphs and I'm a sort of painting by numbers girl, so I like to have something visual. So it's very difficult for me to actually look at this chart um, to understand what I'm doing, especially with the colours being different to the ones I was using. So for my notes, I've had to substitute the letters in the pattern for the colours that I was using and actually make notes. So literally from row 1 through to 26, 
I've had to say exactly what colours <laughs> what I was using. So yes, it does take time. It's not something quick, but it's a project and I like to get my teeth into a project. Now, since the last podcast, um, I've actually done a little graph. Um, it's, you know, it's not perfect, but like I said, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've got my pencils that I showed you last on the last episode, and I've now got my case. So all my pencils are now in the case. So I'm quite enjoying it. I haven't used pencils for years, but I used to love colouring as a child, and I used to win colouring competitions, which I was quite proud of when I was young. I think I walked like at school. I don't know if it was um, junior or... I think it was junior school, yeah, I think there was a couple of years that I won colouring competitions. So that, that that was my start, actually, in my creativity. But it stood me in good stead for my adult life, so I think that's it was destined that I was going to stay on the arts and culture side of life. And, yes, it, it just keeps the monotonous and the dullness that life can be, um, it just, you know, you go into your own little world and it's brilliant. I, I mean, I recommend knitting to anybody. You know, I'm an advocate and I, I love it so much that every day I'm knitting and it's it's a tonic, it really is. So what more can I say? So anyway, I'm using this and it's really helping, it really helps, because to follow a written instruction can be a bit painful, but when you're following, you know, I use a ruler, so I always use a ruler, so I kind of, you know, as I go through each row and I just show what I'm, you know, just look at what I'm on next. Also, the pattern, I'm not a circular needle girl, I'm a knit back and knit front, so I do knit in pieces, but I don't mind purling, I know a lot of people hate purling rows, but I quite like it. So anyway, that's that. So I've done quite a bit since I last was on the show. Um, so here we are at the moment, I think we're coming up to the armhole shaping, so yeah, I've done quite a lot more since I was last on there. And I've actually darned in some ends. So we're getting there. I've got a feeling though that this one's going to be a bit tighter than the one I've already knitted. But I don't mind because I, I prefer them a bit tighter. This one's quite on the loose side. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to finishing that. So come next weekend, I should have finished. So yeah, it's beautiful. I love the pattern on this one. And the colours are just, I mean, you can tell what a difference. I mean, this is exactly the same pattern as this one. But look at the difference. I mean, you wouldn't recognise it as the same pattern. Because if you change the colours and you put the darks where the lights were, it just gives you a totally different visual on that. I mean, it is nice, that one. I mean, that's got the, the, the traditional OXO. I've been reading my book on Feral today and... That's one of the traditionals, but I don't mind. I mean, you can play around and you can create, bring out so many aspects of a design. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'd like to actually create my own designs off of like different, you know, take, take a design panel and, and add my own little um, bits in between. So that will keep me interested for quite some time. So that's that one. Um, another one, so I'm knitting another fair row that I might have mentioned in an interview recently. Uh, this is another project that I did start and I must admit I put it down and, um, <laughs> and that's in my work in progress box. But today, I, I haven't finished it yet, but I thought it would be better if I also did the same with this, have something visual to look at while I'm actually doing each row and you must admit it's just so easy just to look at a coloured graph than reading like from an instruction and yeah unfortunately a lot of the, the 40s and the 50s patterns 
didn't give you graphs. They literally told you each each colour. And it's really difficult to follow if the colours, you're not knitting the colours that were on the pattern. So yeah, a little bit of work in the background um, you have to do on that. Another project I'm doing for one of my customers is a little cardigan. Um, now this is another um, thing. I've already knitted myself one of these, but um, the thing with lace is there's a lot of increasing and passing slip stitch over. So what you have to be careful of, you have to make notes so that you know exactly how many stitches should be on your needle at the end of each row, especially once you've started decreasing for the armholes on the body and the sleeves. So I'm actually doing it this time and it seems to be working out quite good. So I've done quite a bit of that one already. Um, she will be pleased. I've actually knitted the body so it's a nice pink it looks bright it's not as dark I mean bright as as you can see but I've ordered some nice buttons some nice little vintage buttons which should come tomorrow so you can't really tell what it's going to look like but so I've done the body already and I'm, I'm starting the sleeves so that should be done in a few weeks so, yes, yeah, she will be pleased if she watches this video. Um, also, something else um, I wanted to share with you is something I find quite useful that my husband bought me for Christmas, which is a daylight lamp, but also is a magnifier. So what you do is you swivel it, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit dark, bright. But basically, this daylight lamp... Um, you can use it when you haven't got very good lighting and it's perfect. It's it's um, rechargeable so you can just plug it in, USB port, and it charges up in a few hours and then it's ready to go. So yeah, so it's literally good uh, for, you know, it sort of moves and you can adjust that. So yeah, it's good for using with um, intarsia knitting. So I, I did start using it yesterday. I mean, once it's charged, it lasts a few hours, but it's not too bad. So yeah, so that's me at the moment. So yes, yeah, so I've, um, this is my cake. Now it didn't turn out as I wanted it. I think it's because um, for one, the pears were supposed to sink in and they didn't, <laughs> so I don't know what went wrong there, but hey ho, I'll, knit, I'll make it not knit another one, I will bake another cake at some point, and hopefully that one will turn out a bit better, but I'm sure it tastes fine. So yes, and today as it's Valentine's Day, I've just been listening to my In the Lounge with Andy Williams, so I do like a bit of Andy Williams, um, lots of songs for the 23 songs for swingers there you go but obviously swingers had another meaning to it back in the day um if you were a swinger it meant that you were you were sort of trendy <laughs> but obviously that word's been hijacked along the way and it has other meanings now um but yes so this evening, um, I don't know what we're going to watch. Maybe we'll watch Funny Face with Audrey Hepburn. That's one of my favourite films. And I think that's quite appropriate for Valentine's Day. So that's it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. It's 14 minutes on the 14th. And just say have a nice rest of the weekend. And I'll see you again for another update. Bye bye.